Where's my, 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 my DJ? Put that camera on me, on me. I can't believe what I just heard. Are you good at or bad at what you're doing? You're terrible. Hey. You're the worst. Something is wrong with you. This is the definition of slavery. The best Stop. show on Stop. television. Stop right there. <laughs> <laughs> He's the bad, 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 bad. Definitely co-sign that sentiment. Thanks for tuning in to First Take. Start the damn show. What's going on, everybody? Welcome on into First Take on this Thursday. I'm Charlie Arnold, joined here in New York by the host of the Will Kane Show, Will Kane, and former NBA journeyman Ryan Holland. Gentlemen, up, how are we feeling today? Ryan's a little nervous. He's been talking since 7:30 a.m. He won't stop. Chitter chat, chitter chat. You missed me, you. haven't you? You missed me, haven't you? Admit it. It's Admit all it. love here. I miss you like I miss winning. <laughs> <laughs> They're one and the same. Being with you is like being on top. Beauty's in the eye of the beholder. That, that, that's kind of how your wins come out, man. I want everyone to know the back and forth started on the conference call this morning, so I think we're in for a fun time today. What do you think? Some people are a little delusional, a little you know, so, I mean... All right, well, uh, I'll try to, this not is to make the this first show fun. back since the Kawhi News dropped, so what better place to start the show than delving right into the insanity building in L.A.? The Clippers and the Lakers share the same roof, but in their 34 years together in Los Angeles, the two teams have never met in the playoffs, let alone been in the top four in the Western Conference at the same time. But now, with the Lake Show touting LeBron and signing A.D. and the Clippers signing Kawhi and Paul George, that could all change this season. All right, Ryan, we're going to start with you here. Who runs L.A.? Here's the reality. It's still the Lakers. And I understand this is a team that missed the playoffs the last six seasons. I also understand that, you know, the Clippers are coming. They are clearly, and if you, if you ain't been watching the news, they are the favorites to win a championship. It's not the Lakers. And it's not just the talent. It's not just Kawhi Leonard. It's not just Paul George. Uh, it's the the. The front office, the organization, Doc Rivers. But when you talk about Lakers and you talk about their legacy, you got to understand this goes back to Jerry West, Wilt Chamberlain, Kareem, Magic, Kobe, Shaq, LeBron James. These are generations and generations of fans. Your grandfather was a Lakers fan. Then your father was a Lakers fan. Then you grew up watching Lakers games. So that's the precedents that have been set, not just in L.A., but amongst the NBA. So if you're talking about fanship, you're talking about legacies, you're talking about generations, it's still a Laker town. And I'm a guy who played for the Clippers. Is that question in the past tense? Does it say which team ran L.A.? Is it talking about history? I don't understand. I thought the question was in the present tense. Which team runs L.A.? Thank you for the history lesson. Your fans in the present. Is the question who's more popular? Who, who has more fans now? I don't mean to make you stumble. Who has Is more fans now? Is the question who's more popular? Who runs L.A.? The answer isn't just the Los Angeles Clippers. The answer to that question right there is clearly defined in one word. Kawhi runs L.A. This is how it works. Let me run through the checklist with you. As you laid it out, Ryan Hollins, which team, Lakers or Clippers, have the better coach? Clippers. Which team, Lakers or Clippers, have the better owner? Clippers. Which team, Lakers or Clippers, have the better GM? Clippers. Which team, Lakers or Clippers, have the better <laughs> roster? Clippers. Uh-oh. And now we arrive at the superstar. So far, I think I'm 5-0. and oh. And now we arrive that's at that's the that's superstar. That's Kawhi Leonard. This is who runs L.A. Let me make something clear. Kawhi Leonard had a choice. He could go anywhere he wanted. He was a free agent. He could have joined the Los Angeles Lakers. He could have joined that wonderful, illustrious history that you so eloquently and accurately laid out. Mm -hmm. He could have joined a super team in LeBron James and Anthony Davis. Kawhi Leonard rejected that. He rejected the most popular team in L.A. He rejected that history. He rejected... LeBron James. Kawhi Leonard rejected everything you think runs L.A. All that, which is so obvious, it's been built up over decades. The better business, the more popular team, the jersey, the colors, the history. Kawhi Leonard gave it the Heisman, and he gave LeBron the Heisman, and he chose the Clippers. Make no mistake, not just the Clippers, Kawhi Leonard runs L.A. So numbers don't matter? Numbers don't matter that essentially Clipper fans are out, logically we put out a safe number. This may be me going easy. Outnumbered four to one by Lakers fans. 
by generations of fans. Numbers don't matter, Will, because if we're talking about who numbers, who runs L.A., and you lose for six, eight seasons, and you still got fans riding and dying with you, supporting you, watching you, unfortunately, I mean, this team missed the playoffs, and it was still must-see TV. This was, I mean, I don't want to say, I'm, I don't want to say garbage. I don't like to throw that out. But this was a bad organization. They get LeBron James, and you're still watching, still must-see TV. It is hard for me to say how you're defining who runs L.A. that it's not a majority. And if you're the Clippers, you have some making up to do. Now, I understand when I played for the Clippers, Lob City, we were popular. It was a fun deal. We made a nice little dent. There are guys that were kids that were eight and nine years old that come up to me today and say, man, I'm, I'm 17, 19 years old, man. I'm a Clipper fan. I remember watching you play. I love what you did. Well, guess what? You not only have to do that, you got to win championships. You got to be good for a long time. And you even understand what the Lakers have done. As much as I'm riding and dying for the Clippers, you have to understand it's still a Laker town. But guys like Kawhi Leonard, Paul George coming in, getting a championship this year, which is vital, are going to take steps in the correct. You, you in particular, Ryan Hollins, man, you should take inspiration from this, okay? Because what we're watching here is the rise of the redheaded stepchild. You are the redheaded stepchild of sports media. You are the one who's perpetually dismissed. <laughs> the one who people can't take seriously. What you're talking about here is the rise of not just the Clippers, but the Nets as well, man. What we're watching here is the also-rans, the ignored, the one that, the, well, as on, I hold said. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Those hold are on. two different things. No, no, no. Listen to me for what? one second. This is the rise of the people who couldn't get their respect. We're seeing it happen in New York, and I'll give you this. Granted, the Nets to overcome the Knicks is a different equation for the Clips to overcome the Lakers. It's different. You got to define the Knicks, that. You got to explain that a little more. Don't just throw Knicks, that out. Well, it's because of what you've laid out. The Knicks' legacy, their brand, is not what the Lakers is. They're not on the same footing. They're not on the same pairing. So for the Nets to overcome the Knicks in this city is much easier than for the Clippers to overcome the Lakers. I'm acknowledging what you've laid out. I, I you see here, I'm not easier. having an argument with I, you about which franchise is more I valuable. You, I would actually say it's easier for the Clippers because the Nets just got to Brooklyn. They've got a lot nah, of man, ground nah, to nah, make. They just the got you, here. It's the mountain you have to climb. And I'm acknowledging what you've laid out. The mountain that is the Los Angeles Lakers is extremely tall. The Knicks mountain had the top loft, loft off of that, you know, a decade ago. The Nets can do this, and now they have the two biggest superstars in the city to do it with, in KD and Kyrie. The Clippers have a bigger task in front of them. And what I'm not arguing with you, let's be clear about something. Three things, in fact. I'm not arguing history with you. You laid out the Lakers' history, and it is, it is compelling. I'm not arguing with you franchise value. Mm -hmm. The Lakers are more valuable than the Clippers, and Kawhi Leonard's present isn't going to change that in the short term. The Lakers are more popular than the Clippers. I'm not arguing fan attendance or ratings for games with you right now. When the question is, who runs L.A.? It is about the present and the future. And the present and the future belong to the Los Angeles Clippers. Not just the Clippers. Ryan, the true answer is, and you have to acknowledge this, it's Kawhi Leonard that runs L.A. His decisions are not just dictating what happens I, in the look, city look, of Los Angeles. I, I They're dictating look, look. the NBA. Right now, Kawhi Leonard is the best player in basketball. As far as popularity, as far as reach. Not that's popularity. Still, uh, uh, not, no, no, not popularity. Uh, please, exactly. And I please. will give that to, to LeBron James. But as far as in Magic Johnson and those guys, we're not fighting popularity. But what I contradict you on, you told me that the Clippers run L.A. So I want to know how you define that. Because, two, because you, 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 hold on, hold on. You just told me they're on the rise. Yeah. So to say somebody runs L.A., and the very next breath say you're on the rise. You got to explain that to me, Will. I am explaining it to you because they employ the Ronin, the rogue of the league. They employ Kawhi Leonard, whose decisions are dictating the entire league. I want you to realize something. Kawhi Leonard has now, years at less, taken down three immense dynasties. He took down the Miami Heat when he was a member of the San Antonio Spurs. Mm -hmm. He took down the Golden State Warriors as the leader of the Toronto Raptors. Yep. And in the past week, he's taken down the super team era in the NBA. 
We no longer have one team that is insurmountable, one team that's a foregone conclusion, mm. one team we all know is going to win it all. You can now make an argument for almost 10 teams in the NBA. No, you, you can make an argument. You're going too far. It's not no, 10 not. teams. No, a it's third, not 10 teams. Third, it is not 10 teams. Uh, listen, I you want you to hear me four. out for a second. A third of the NBA fan bases have a reason to watch to the end of the season because of Kawhi Leonard. And if I haven't convinced you yet of who runs L.A., I want to ask you one question. Talk to me. And we'll talk about this more. How long was the contract that Kawhi Leonard signed with the Clippers? Three years, correct? Two years with the player option. Yep, yep. How many more years does LeBron James on his, on his contract with the Lakers? I believe he signed a four-year deal. So, so he's three years. Right, yeah, they're right around the same time, yeah. Fascinating, isn't it? Hmm. The guy who runs L.A., could pick which team in L.A. he wants to play for a second time. Just because LeBron James has chose to recruit Kawhi Leonard, understands that Kawhi Leonard is very valuable, knows that the smarter road is to play with another star player, doesn't mean that he has lost power necessarily. Now, Kawhi Leonard is the best player, is the biggest brand, and where he goes, obviously he's going to sway the odds of a championship – that doesn't change things, though, Will. All right. Well, Kawhi obviously holding a lot of power in our Clippers versus Lakers discussions. We'll not end there, but what I want to end on one note, since getting Kawhi and PG, the Clippers' odds from Caesar Sportsbook to win next season's NBA championship have jumped from plus 1,000 to plus 350, making them co-favorites with the Lakers. Mm. Already coming up on First Take, rumors about Russell. Which team needs to go all in on trading for Russell Westbrook? The debate coming up next on First Take.